Hello and welcome to Settings, the holiest place of all of uh, RTS and a uh, small intro about smurfing uh, from Uspensky while he traveled in India. It, it is the greatest mistake to think that a player is always one and the same. A player is never the same for long. He's continuously changing. I think that if a player is called Ganelon, he's always Ganelon. Nothing of the kind. Now he's Ganelon, another minute he's Zigi, and another minute later he's Lucian. And all of you thought he was Ganelon all along. You know that mice cannot do something. He can't micro SF, for instance. Then you find out he's out microed Sith, and you're surprised that it could have been, uh, could have been done. And indeed, mice can't micro his SF. It was Grimjo who did. And when opportunity presents itself to Grimjo, Grimjo can't help but uh, pawn a noob. You'll be astonished when you realize the multitude of these mises and characters that live inside a single player. If you learn to observe them, you can be entertained by replays, uh, basically for all, for a very long time. So, uh, an intro about smurfing. Now we can turn to the game. These are uh, extremely good players, very good teams. Uh, very standard team here: Berg, Sith, Ulk, also known as uh, Grimjo. This is Ulk's uh, Grimjo's original name. Looks like uh, three Pigeon to the Hydra. He might challenge Mr. White. So, Mr. White versus Ulk, Siren on Siren. That's as good as it gets. Fritz taking on uh, Sith, so Fritz a very solid player. And in the middle we got uh, VMC versus Exe. So Dark Exe was one of the a really good player. I think yeah, well probably top five, top ten on sentence. But we we have quite a few of them, of them in this game. And I'm playing Yef versus Seraphim. Let's speed this up at first. I hope we don't get a desync. That'll be tragic, and I hope we actually see the end of this one. And Igla, of course, taking on Berg. Igla, extremely good at economy, also good at uh, ASF. And let's see how this turns out for Ulk. Ulk, Ulk, Ulk going with a quick second air with a bomber. While well, we're looking at Mr. White, he's going with a transport, so standard. Pretty quick, pretty quick uh, transport. Let's see a total of uh, 7 plus 5, so 12 pigeons. The bomber is going to the island. A scout from uh, Fritz. So Fritz also going second air. Scout bomber. A transport from uh, Sith. Here comes a transport from uh, Mr. White. And it's going to be the key here for Mr. White to spread the engineers as soon as they are dropped off. Because you can see this uh, interceptor is going to spot these. And if they're standing all close together like that, the bomber from Ulk is going to come in and take that out. Beautifully done there by Ulk, and up here we see Sith has spread the engineers. It'll be very difficult to kill them with a single bomb, and good defense from uh, Sith preventing preventing from the bomb from dropping anything off. Here comes a transport though from Fritz, and it looks like there was no transport from Ulk yet, but Ulk has a control of air over that island. Another transport getting raided by Mr. White. Meanwhile, we see a successful drop from Fritz. He's got a couple uh, tanks, a couple Manta there as well, a couple engin engineers. It looks like all the engineers are going to die. There are still some Manta. But that was a disadvantage of not killing off these NGs. Seth has so much more build capacity, able to outbuild Fritz. So an unsuccessful island t uh, take. And it looks like Mr. White very quickly gets another uh, s set of engineers on a transport. Perhaps if Ulk was prevent, yeah, Ulk is now. Yeah, it looks like the interceptors are a little lost there. So Mr. White, in spite of uh, getting bombed, the second drop takes the island. So both rocks are successfully uh, holding on to the islands. In the middle, meanwhile, completely missed this. All the mass is gone. Exe got 8,400 uh, VMC. We got 6,600. So 2,000 difference, pretty close, but definitely an advantage for Exe. Exe a little lower in health with the EEF. And a whole bunch already coming in from VMC. VMC trying to push him back. See, here comes the Raider. Mostly tanks, mostly Arty. VMC keeps on pushing against the EF. Of course, Seraphim already very big advantage in the middle. And yeah, some sneaky tanks here in Arty. Three kills there, are two health left from uh, XE. It's still air domination from Ulk. And a drop coming in from. Uh, Look, Mr. White under a lot of pressure, but Mr. White so far very good defense, and if it continues like this, 
you should be fine. He's trying to get a Navy going. The Navy has been started by Ulks and Tech 1. And you can see now the ocean also. Navies have been started by Fritz and Sith. Both of them cyber. So all around cyber navies is a beautiful thing. Aeon in the back and EF versus Seraphim in the middle. This is this is the golden age of Satan's when it was really good games. A lot of these players like I haven't seen Exe for a long time. Egla also for a long time. Berg and Sith think they're not nearly as good as they used to be. It's probably not even the patch. Just they don't play nearly as much as they used to. Although I could be wrong. I don't watch all their games. Sith now walking to the ocean. Still total air domination from Ulk. Of course, Mr. White and uh, Grim Joe still around. But it's really these games where all spots are such high level. This is when it, the Setons was uh, played at its maximum. MC getting some upgrades. So is Xy. Xy already with Tech 2 now getting the gun, getting some Tech 2 power. And the pressure from uh, Ulk is just unrelenting. Tech 2 Navy now from Mr. White. Here come the bombers. Good onto air. And some Tech 1 Navy from Ulk coming in. Uh, Mr. White really. Uh, it's hard to uh, play against him. He d he plays defense so well. And he's gonna turn that into offense pretty quick here. Of course, it cost Ulk a lot because you can see that he has a whole bunch of Tech One mask structures. It looks like Mr. White as well. So both players forced to use quite a bit of their eco into this fighting. Not uh, here, minute ten. Still Tech One mask structures from both players, which is very uncharacteristic. If they were playing against some noob, they'd have a, a much bigger eco. See both VMC now. Now VMC just with the gun. XE with the gun and Tech 2 is to be a huge advantage. See nice micro from XE keeping his units back and then moving in. This could get VMC in a lot of trouble. And some overcharges. VMC suddenly losing all of his units. He still has a path to the ocean. But looks like XE is going to take control here. 12 kills versus XE 25. But a Navy in support of... Uh, VMC could be really good. VMC needs to get out. Uh, I think VMC stayed here just a little too long. He just got a little bit of energy, but it's going to be the first kill of the game. The units are given over to Igla. I'm not sure if Igla is going to hold on. Uh, Igla getting a second resource allocation here a little bit after minute 11. Uh, Berg, of course, with his uh, usual six uh, Tech 2 P gens. I think he was the only one who would do this. He also got a Tech 3 Engineer. Other uh, players usually did 5 or uh, 4. And then resource allocations. So Iglan are recycling mass. So, pretty exciting battle so far here on the sentence. Looking at what Sith has Tech 2, uh, both Tech 1 and Tech 2 Navy. It was Tech 2 submarines together with Tech 1 frigates. You see, it's mostly Tech 1 frigates, some Tech 1 subs from. Fritz also now getting some destroyers. And here we got uh, destroyers and uh, Tech 2 submarines versus cruisers and destroyers. So here, coming up minute 13, both players have a navy and a lot of bombers here from Sith. Looks like this base has been given over to Fritz, so Fritz is going to get a good eco. It'll be up to Exe to really put pressure on the mid so that Fritz can put all of this into navy and because if Fritz wins Navy against Sith, uh, then the middle can't really do much either. It's really up to Sith and Exit to put as much pressure and take away that eco advantage. Exit was so much reclaim possibilities. Great to put a bomb right there. Some tech on point defenses, XC 54 kills, tech 2 engineering, recycling mass. So let's see, 4 versus 3 game, definitely an advantage now for the bottom side. But it's still dead even. It's this na this naval battle, uh, Mr. White versus Ulk. Ulk did a lot of attacking, so he's going to be at a disadvantage in terms of eco because he did not uh, prevent the island from being taken by Mr. White. Mr. White is going to have those extra five mass extractors. So we'll see if Ulk is able to survive. 
You know, I will see here a bunch of Tech to submarines from Sith being pretty aggressive, but running into a couple destroyers. Definitely a numbers advantage for Fritz here against Sith. And assault Tech to assault through the middle from uh, Exe. Tech to land from Fritz in the middle. So Fritz having to juggle two different bases. If it was somebody like Dim, this would be a huge advantage for him. Of course, there is going to be, at the end of September, a set -ins tournament, and rumor has it that Dim is going to come back just for the tourney. So far, the HBE um, have the best team. That's the team that Sith's going to be on. But hopefully, they do get some challenge. Should be a nice event. Thanks for uh, Open for organizing all that. Hopefully, it's a success. Here, it looks like these two players are just looking at each other. Not really willing to go in. Definitely uh, advantage here for Mr. White. He continues to scout. Tech 3 air. Yeah, looks like a Tech 3 air given a Berg to Grim. Grim doing some scouting. And uh, Dark Exe continues to push. And here we got Seth helping out. A lot of Tech 1 bombers from Seth. It's really nice. And uh, Berg versus Igla. Looks like Igla has a little bit of an eco advantage. But let's see how many SF Igla actually has. 67. Berg sitting on 53. So slightly more for Igla. But it's of course going to come down to where the fight happens. And this was a very big event. Looks like Mr. White has caught Ulk. Uh, Ulk in quite a bit of trouble. Mr. White did have the numbers. And Ulk has just lost naval battle there. That could be a huge uh, event if Mr. White is able to continue to push. Ulk needs to get some air help to shift this battle. I don't think he's going to have enough with just Navy to prevent. We got some uh, torpedo bombers from uh, Berg and a whole bunch of torpedo bombers. So very quick response. This might precipitate an ASF battle. Here comes... Uh, Igla and Berg. Berg forced to make some torpedo bombers. And you can see this is a, both players trying to get behind the other. It looks like they decided to just uh, part ways. Got a lot of torpedo bombers here. So many torpedo bombers from Berg. This Navy from Mr. White absolutely getting wiped out. Igla not, uh, I think Igla could have been a little more aggressive, but uh, he's just going to watch as Mr. White loses all of his boats. And here you can see why reclaim, naval reclaim has such a big effect on the game, because right now if this was in uh, Forge Alliance forever, this would be so much reclaim for um, Grimm. And now Igla decides to come in, and it absolutely devastates Berg's air. So air control. Berg uh, saving an ally but losing air. He's got two different uh, factories that he's producing air with, so it's be harder to prevent the SF spam. We should see some flak produced by Berg. Mr. White uh, rolls in with some more ships. And up on top, we see Exe with a Tech 3 point defense creep. Big problems as well as Sith and Exe here against Fritz. This is good aggression for them. Fritz could be in a bit of trouble. Of course they do have air control so it's always an option for Fritz or for Igla to help out with some bombers. But Exe rolling, rolling over and this is just no defense here. And on land this could be a huge problem. We do see strat bombers however from Igla. Igla continues to dominate air. Grim uh, trying to survive but still three, three te four tech two ships that he doesn't have. Very strange that uh, Ulk making cruisers instead of destroyers. So Ulk's still not out of the woods and it was that naval battle we kind of missed it but it did look like Mr. White had numbers because he did have a superior eco. And here Fritz in trouble against Sith. Huge trouble. Big numbers and uh, in the middle Fritz in trouble against Exe. It's a very even battle. We can see a lot of flak now from Berg trying to get Igla to get off his case. Also some Tech 3. But Igla does have this opportunity to build up his ASF numbers as, as well as get a whole bunch of strats. And uh, here Exe could be in trouble. He's trying to get shields. 
And a lot of flak there as well. But this is a lot of mobile shields. It'll be hard to kill Exe. Berg comes in to try to deny the bombers. Excellent use of his limited air from Berg. And now he's going to, yeah, Berg playing perfectly here. He is going to fly directly over Sith cruisers. We'll maximize the damage. And now with only these ASF, Berg should be able to produce air pretty quickly here because these will die to the Tech 3 anti air. You see, air doesn't win sentence when it's at a high level, but it's very nice to have it. Uh, Ulk, meanwhile, in uh, huge trouble. He has lost Navy against Mr. White. Mr. White from Rock, only the best can. Uh, well, Ulk is one of the best, but he went for the aggressive build, he went for a risk. And even though uh, Berg really helped Ulk there, preventing the first assault, uh, he just could not recover. Meanwhile, Exe is rolling everything over. A whole bunch of shields and uh, a couple strat bombers dropped on his head. That's now mass. Oh, and Fritz is going to lose Navy. There's no way back unless... Oh, this is a lot of strat bombers. This could be a great snipe. So Igla... Huge effect on this game. You can see so much tech one air from uh, Sith. There's no way to sneak in into Sith's base. Ulk with stealth and some uh, tech two point defenses. And Fritz, yeah, this is over for Fritz. It's really a question now how is this tech two land uh, is going to be prevented? Oh, yeah, it's going to be the experimental. Looks like. Oh wow, this is XE with the cruise missile on the AC. You can see all these mass extractors. This is rapid fire cruise missiles. Mr. White losing, you can see this is a, a seven Tech 2 mass extractors with a mass storage wiped out. But he does have a spider that's going to go into the middle with all this Tech 2, Tech 1. And Fritz looks like he is going to die. It's going to die very quickly. So this game is now four versus two with Igla and Mr. White. And Mr. White just lost eight. He's finally getting some TMD. Mr. White completely dominated his Navy, but here come restorers now from Berg. Torpedo bombers and a fatty from Exe. Sith, absolute naval domination. And you got to give a lot of credit for Exe for the success that Sith had. If Exe didn't put so much pressure on the middle, it would have been an eco advantage for Fritz, but Fritz forced to fight two different players. Here comes a spider. See how Exe deals with the spider. Also a navy here from Mr. White putting pressure. So Exe may want to retreat, or he's going to stay next to shields and tech three point defense. A lot of restores from Igla. Igla had all those strat bombers. I didn't see where they went. Check two bombers from Mr. White. Mr. White continues to wipe out Oak's base, but Oak's still alive. They might see another air battle. And here come the restorers from Igla. And the middle is going to be ran over, although a fatty coming in, also an anti nuke. A fatty coming in from Exe. Exe forced into the water. And it's very safe waters with uh, Sith in in that whole ocean. 33 kills on the spider. Exe sh shooting uh, missiles from the ACU at the spider. Some of them hitting. The Duke has quite a bit of damage. Exe playing with fire here. Retreating to the fatty. Uh, the spider facing a navy. Probably wants to run away. We also see a megalith from Ulk, and uh, that might be his ticket back into the ocean. So both players, both sides causing significant damage to each other. But we gotta say XC here, uh, really a much better mid. That's really the difference in this game. Because the rocks on both sides absolutely devastated their beach. XC now with shield. Here, torpedo bombers versus the spider. Looks like the spider is going to die. Might see. Yeah, here, this is a lot of strap. This is, is that torpedo bombers? 
Yeah, but that shield from Exe that he just got. It looks like Berg now in control of air once again. Here, minute 30. Looks like similar numbers, but it's you don't want to fight over that huge navy if you're Igla. Igla now making yet another fatty. Megalith forcing uh, Mr. White's navy back. So Sith in a much better shape than Mr. White. Mr. White got really assaulted uh, hard by those cruise missiles losing eight Tech 2 mask tractors, and that's really a, a tough loss. And we see now a GC and a fatty from Exe in the middle. As well as a spider for another spider from Mr. White. Mr. White going for a nuke. Should see nukes here from Sith as well. A lot of build capacity on air. Yeah, a lot of power for Sith. Berg uh, spreading out some Tech 3 PGENs. Anti nuke, multiple anti nukes from Berg. Tech 2 Flak. It's quite defensive. Igla. Yeah, he's got a nuke. He's already got one loaded. Should've been paying attention. He's got an anti nuke and a loaded nuke. Let's see what Igla does with that. Meanwhile, I see the fatty and DC rolling through the middle. Mr. White's navy having to respect it. Mr. White does have a spider in the middle, but that's definitely going to be a gun by GC with so many shields, as well as a lot of flak. And here comes a nuke from Igla. Let's see what that ends up. And uh, one player we got to keep uh, keep an eye on. Oak still alive in a cybern. That's why Fritz probably shouldn't have left. A uh, cybern ACU is always useful. Turn that into a teleporting uh, assassin. Where is this nuke going to go? There is an anti nuke for Exe. This is going to be extremely close. And he just finished it in time. We saw it. That was, that was as close as it gets. If that nuke was launched, we saw uh, Igla had that a little earlier. If he would have launched that right away, he would have got past the anti nuke of Exe. But Exe finished it just in time. And it looks like a chicken and a spider now. Yeah, the GC is going to have to respect it. The Navy for Mr. White moving back in. You see Sith here taking care of the last uh, Tech 2, Tech 3 mask detectors from Fritz Old Base. And a big ASF spam now from Sith as well, so it's a 2 versus 1 ASF spam now. Although it does look like some engineers from Mr. White are helping uh, Igla. Let's see if Igla can do something with a second nuke. Of course, Mr. White also is going to have a nuke soon. It's all been given over to Mr. White. And Ulk, uh, this is going to be a huge eco for Ulk. Mr. White needs to do something about that. But meanwhile, the Megalith uh, causing all kinds of problems, 12 kills. And that, if that gets into this base, it will create problems and as Mr. White makes some experimentals. Chicken and a spider. GC retreats. Multiple fatties, however, so this could be a mistake here from uh, Mr. White going three versus two in terms of experimentals. And with all those uh, shields, unless Igla has uh, strat bombers or something he can help with. Here we see Mr. White moving in with the Navy by getting hit by a bunch of torpedo bombers from Berg. He needs some help from uh, Ugly here, or his navy will eventually die. Megalith, uh, something people probably should know. Can't do this. Shallow water. And uh, don't get near me. Uh, he does, but no losses for Exe. Two really nice chunks of mass, so a bit of a mistake perhaps there from Mr. White. Now, Igla coming in with the Air Force, he, he's got to save this navy. If this navy is wiped out, which it's in the process of getting then uh, it'll be just a little too much from the bottom side. We might see a pretty big air battle. 
and then since this navy is not gone, uh, maybe it's no longer a good idea to have this megalith nearly full health now moving in. Uh, Igla is going to wait uh, with some restores. Perhaps that's what Igla is counting on. He's going to have this uh, air battle when uh, Berg comes in to try to save this megalith from the resties. Of course, the mega might just stay in the water. So, uh, all kinds of bad things happening for the top side. <laughs> A lot of power now for Sith, <coughs> which could mean uh, teleports. I'll be very surprised if we don't see teleports from the bottom side, either from Sith or from Ulk. Yeah, that's a lot of planes. Nobody's using them. For example, here Igla is vulnerable to tr to a teleport. He does not have a point defense next to his ACU. Be a quick victory. His nuke is loaded. He's about to launch. Some scouts here. Mr. White's nuke's halfway. The megalith is going to create some more problems. I wonder what this nuke is going to go. The anti nuke for uh, XE is actually not loaded. And now Sith walking on to land. Here's a Awasa from Mr. White. And this nuke is going to go. Looks like it's to the island. Take a three, uh, five, take three mask structures from Sith. That's probably worth it. A lot of scouts from uh, Sith all over the place. 78 kills on the megalith, and creating all kinds of problems for Mr. White. Uh, actually, Mr. White might lose his nuke here. The restorers will force the mega back into water. Also, some take three torpedo bombers, and that megalith is going to turn a nice uh, wreck perhaps and uh, very nice placement on the nuke all five mass extractors destroyed and uh, looks like still just three take the take three arty from um, Xe. That's a little surprising, but it will be kind of effective. Looks like Mr. White just threw in the towel. Yeah, this is just a little too much to take. His nuke was taken out by a megalith, peeking his head out of the water, and he got in transport and flew. And that means that uh, Igla is all alone. This game is basically over. See how long Igla actually plays. He's still uh, vulnerable to a tr teleport snipe. And looks like now players just leaving. So, uh, yeah, this game is over. And I will uh, now complete as a. Uh, as Igla is in the process of dying, I'll complete the, the intro. It is necessary to understand the structure of the human machine. Our principal error is that we think we have one mind. We call the functions of this mind conscious. Everything that does not enter this mind we call unconscious or subconscious. This is our chief error. Of the conscious and the unconscious we will speak later. At this moment I want to explain to you that the activity of the human machine, that is of the physical body, is controlled not by one but by several minds entirely independent of each other having separate functions and separate spheres in which they manifest themselves this must be understood first of all because unless this is understood nothing else can be understood so hopefully people enjoyed this game we see a massive air fight now and actually I think uh, let's see what this is going at minus nine this is as slow as it could possibly go Igla still not dying but he should shortly. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and end it. 
because that's probably a few uh, thousand planes. We can just see how many this is. 333 for Berg. 405 for Igla. Set with another 132. So still even numbers. Oh, let's see. Let's see who actually wins this. See a bunch of torpedo bombers. Oak decides that this is not worth it. Leaves. This mega was uh, what drove Mr. White over the edge. Thing we can see here is uh, a raining mass. one of those is about 400 mass uh, when you pick that up so don't neglect it that is pretty ridiculous so when they ask you about uh, minimum uh, requirements for this game. I don't think they're talking about this battle. I wish I could actually look up. back to minus four and it looks like Igla has lost the air battle and uh, with this we can uh, go ahead and end this one hopefully people